Hello there. What we're doing today is showing you the proper way to clean a concrete truck. Let's start now on the drum of the truck. What we have here on the drum is a painted surface with some grease, oil, road film, some dead oxidized paint. Normally speaking, in the old days, you might use a lot of uh, various harsh products like acid products to clean these things up. I'm going to show you what we consider an environmentally friendly program to clean up this ready mix truck. Let's start here on the drum. First off, I've got a product called Extreme Clean. It's a water-based cleaner degreaser. It's designed to take grease, oil, road film, some dead oxidized paint off the surface, as well as it's completely biodegradable and water dilutable. Environmentally friendly, very inexpensive to use. You use it with a bucket and a brush. I'm going to shoot it on with a trigger sprayer, show you what it looks like. Right here, the surface may appear fairly clean. But you're going to see in a minute as it sits, what it does, it sticks to the side of the truck. It will actually adhere to the side of the paint. And as it sticks, it will work its way through that top layer of dead oxidized paint. It's designed to be worked with with a bucket and a brush. So I'm going to use my brush. And in a few minutes, what you're going to see is a bright, clean surface with no harsh products, no acids, no caustics, nothing that's going to hurt anybody or anything. Now, once you have the surface clean, you're going to have this problem over and over, day in, week out, week in, every, every week. Let's stop this from happening with a second material. It's a coating we call Barrier Shield. And what Barrier Shield is designed to do is spray on, allow it to dry. And once it dries, it puts a coating on that surface that keeps concrete from sticking for one day. Now, when I say allow it to dry, even when it dries, you can feel it and feel a little bit of a slickness to it. And it's designed to not completely dry up and to leave that slickness on there to where during that first day, concrete has a very difficult time sticking to that slick coating. So as concrete hits it, it'll hit and slide. At the end of the day, you can take a water hose and spray and 90% of everything will come right off. It also protects the paint and makes it look nice. Now. Let's take a look over here. Now, once we finish the drum of the truck, we're going to move our way backwards to this area right here. This area right here, from the ring, pretty much from the ring back, is where you end up with your dried concrete. On this particular surface, what you have is a combination of dried concrete, you've got some dirt, some grease, probably maybe some oil, road film. We're going to remove that with a second material. We call it Corrosion X Rust and Concrete Remover. I'll show you what it looks like. Now, the nice thing about this material is that you'll notice there's no smoke, there's no fumes, there's nothing in here that's going to hurt anybody or anything. In fact, I can run my fingers through this. Not that I'm recommending this, but if it happens to get on your skin, it certainly won't burn you. We always recommend proper safety equipment, gloves, goggles, whatever your MSDS says. Now, normally, again, we would take a brush and brush this. I'm going to use my brush. At that point, you can hose it off with water. Again, I'm going to wipe it. Let's 
show you what we have here. And again, in a big hurry, what we have is a clean surface. At that point, come back with your barrier shield, mist it on, and forget about it. That'll dry. It'll dry without streaking. It'll level itself off. And again, once it dries, it still leaves a film. And that film is what repels concrete for that day. I'm going to wipe it in just so you can see what it looks like. And if you were able to feel this, you could feel this that it, you can feel it on your fingertips. Very, very slippery material. And concrete will hit and slide, hit and slide. As it slides, it just builds a film up. And again, the film comes off very quickly with either the extreme clean or the concrete or the corrosion X concrete and rust remover. Now let's work our way to the front. Now here we are at the cab on, of the truck. As we've moved our way from the drum, from the back end to the front, what we have left is uh, concrete film, some dirt, grease and oil, road film. If you can see this fender right here, we're going to take our extreme clean once again, which again was the very first material that we sprayed on the drum. Let's shoot it on. Again, if I had a bucket and a brush, we could put it on with a bucket and a brush. At that point, I'm going to cut for one side. Now, tell me where to... As far as where you were in your deal? Yeah. Or you were do... talking about normally I do it with a bucket and a brush. Okay. So you just go? Yeah. Okay. As you see, we just spray the Extreme Clean on. And again, if I had a bucket and a brush, you could take a brush, brush it. I'm going to use my brush show you what it looks like. And as you brush it, very quickly, it takes any of the grease, oil, any of the road film, takes any of the dead oxidized paint off the surface, and I'll show you what we have here. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to wipe it off, give you an idea. And again, without much work, very, very easy to maintain the truck, providing you have the right material. Again, as we see, what we have is a painted surface as well as plastic surface, plastic bumper. I'll show you what happens on this bumper. Within a second, it takes all the concrete film, all the grease, any kind of road film, dirt, Whatever you have up there, it takes it right off, leaves you with a bright, shiny surface. What we have is the painted surface, which I just cleaned with the Extreme Clean, as well as the rubber fender. And as you see, as we put this coating on, we could let it dry. I'm going to wipe it dry just to show you what it looks like. Make the surface look very clean, bright and shiny. It'll protect it during that day. And what you end up with, again, is a bright, shiny, clean truck. Now, let's take a walk through the back end now. Now we've worked our way back to the rear end of the truck. On the back end, and I say from the ring of the truck back, what you have is your area that gets uh, covered with uh, concrete constantly. And you have not only painted surfaces, but you have reflectors, you have plastic, you have wiring. Again, the Corrosion X rust and concrete remover has no effect on any plastic, any wiring, any rubber. I'll show you what it looks like again. Let's go over this reflector just to give you an idea. And again, we should be using a bucket and a brush. The product requires agitation. It's not really a product that you apply, walk away, and come back. It needs brushed. And as it 
as it becomes brushed, the solution continues to work. If you just leave it alone, the solution stops working. But again, as you brush it, it activates it. Let's put a little more on and see what it looks like. Okay, at that point, rinse with a water hose. I'm going to wipe it off. What you end up with a, is a clean surface. You have concrete, you have dead paint, your paint's bright and shiny again. No harmful effects to the reflector. At this point, it's time to spray the barrier shield on. And again, the barrier shield will continue to work for the entire day. At that point, you can rinse with water. So what we've done, we've shown you a three-part program. A program designed to remove dried concrete, uh, dead oxidized paint, grease, oil, road film, as well as a way to keep the concrete from sticking. And what we feel is that if you'll continue to use the product to keep the concrete from sticking on a regular basis, you'll be able to clean and maintain your trucks relatively easily with very little material. Thank you very much. We appreciate your attention.